Hey, how you doing? My name is Malik Shahid from WatchMojo.com. Today we interview Two Door Cinema Club from Northern Ireland. Let's go check out the interview. No. Now, you released an album in 2012, which is called Beacon. Tell us about the style on Beacon and why the name Beacon. The style of the record, I think, changed a lot from the first record because we'd been um, traveling so much. And I think, you know, our kind of, our influences and our inspiration changed a lot over those few years since the first record. Beacon was kind of a word that summed all of that um, up in one word. Um, the fact that we were constantly moving and changing and um, leaving something behind but also heading towards something else and there was, yeah, I had this idea of like a beacon in the distance and so that, yeah, that became a very appropriate name for the record. And the album cover was very, very sexy. Talk about that. We knew we wanted this kind of old style, kind of like film thing, like you know Guy Bourdin, the uh, French photographer. He's kind of like a big influence on that, and he and on Megaforce, the guys that we worked with. Um, his his photographs always have this film like quality and mystery, as if it's kind of like almost just a, a still from a movie or something. Something's happened before it, and something's about to happen. We wanted that kind of cinematic quality because we felt the record had that. We told these guys, Megaforce, this is what we want, and they drew a picture of these legs. Like, it was just a sketch, and they, they emailed it to us, and we, we just said, yeah, that's it, go and take that picture. Talk to us about the single itself, Sleep Alone. It's kind of one of the first tracks that we'd written once we sort of got together to start thinking about this album. Um, I guess it, it was the first single because it was sort of the track that we felt wasn't such a departure from the first record, um, so it's maybe not going to shock uh, existing fans. Um, so it's a bit of a transitional track. Let's talk about that video, because it's very uh, different. I want you guys to talk about the technology that was used in that video. It was the first, the first time that we'd done like a, I suppose like a big studio shoot. I mean a lot of this stuff like the whole bed sequence was all done to green screen and filled in afterwards. We had great special effects team there on set with us and they, they kind of knew how to do everything. It was really cool. I know you guys also had a chance to shoot a documentary. Tell us about the whole idea and concept behind a documentary. We've kind of done a lot since our last full scale documentary you know that, that the last time we did one was just before the first record came out and I guess we've done a lot and we maybe changed as people and kind of the day-to-day -day of what we do had changed a lot everything we kind of put out in between those two documentaries I had a much more kind of comical kind of slant you know um, like little funny tour blogs or whatever just showing us being drunk or doing silly things and just having a laugh and and as much as we, we still do that, it's uh, we wanted to show much more of the day-to-day -day stuff and, uh, and how crazy sometimes it is or how boring it is sometimes. And yeah, we're so pleased with the outcome and I think it really shows who we are, not only as people, but also as shows us as a band of what we really get up to. Yeah. 